Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gia and this is how you can attract yourself a Leo woman. Now by any means, I am not an astrologer, um, but I have studied astrology and I do have some pointers and tips to share with you guys. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Also, if you hear any noise in this video, I live in the center of the city, so there's just a lot going on here, so just excuse that. <laughs> so, the Leo woman, the Leo woman, she is the sun, she is the center of the universe. She is so powerful, she is confident, she is strong, she is ambitious, she's loving, she's caring, she's charismatic, enthusiastic. So many amazing traits about the Leo woman. I love the Leo energy. Leo, of course, is a fire sign. She's also a fixed sign. This woman is a lioness. She is like the ruler of the jungle. She is extremely powerful super bright when she walks into a room you cannot miss the leo woman like she is just shining everywhere she goes through her personality through her aura she just has this like playful childlike fun energy everywhere she goes she's spontaneous she's always smiling she loves to make people laugh the leo woman loves to make people laugh she loves to joke around, not take life too seriously. Yeah, she's just a fun, overall enthusiastic character. These women are extremely passionate. They are extremely passionate about whatever they do, and especially about love. So they are lovers above everything. Um, Leo woman is extremely lovable and they love to give with their love. They love to receive love. This woman is wild. She can't be tamed. She's extremely vocal as well about her passions, about how much she loves you, about pretty much everything. She loves to be very vocal with how she, um, how she, not really how she feels, feels, but just like, she just loves talking. She loves to express herself through the way that she talks and communicates. This woman is very give what you get type person, type character. So if you're going to show her a lot of attention, give her a lot of attention, um, give her love, just give her those um, loving feelings. Like she's definitely going to reciprocate that and always be there for you. A Leo woman is extremely loyal as well so you can expect to have a lifetime long friend or lover in a Leo woman. This woman does not want um, a like one-sided relationship. The relationship needs to be very give what you get and very equal in that sense and she has more than enough to give and that's usually where she does get hurt is because she'll give and give and give so much of her attention and her love and if it's not reciprocated in that way then she won't feel abundant or she won't feel satisfied. This woman is an alpha female. She's a lioness. She is not a pushover. She's not a doormat. Like, she is powerful and um, she's definitely alpha. So, in a relationship, she can be a little bit dominant in some aspects. So, she does want a partner that can match her dominance or match her alpha behavior, but also a partner that can, like, follow her and um, kind of like just go with the flow with her like what she wants to do or if she has an idea um, that she wants to do or just like something that she wants to pursue like she wants someone that's just gonna like go with her to do that or like go on the spontaneous trip or like talk to her about her passions and dig deep into like what she wants to do or someone that's just gonna be like riding with her in that way and constantly motivating her as well um, so yeah she can definitely lead and she does like to lead in the relationship so the Leo woman really thrives off of attention off of compliments she wants a partner that's gonna compliment her tell her wow you did such a good job on that or 
wow, you look so gorgeous today, or I love how you did your makeup, or I love this outfit you're wearing, like, you always pull off um, what you wear so nicely, or just like little compliments um, about the little things about her, that's going to show her love, and that's kind of how she receives the love. So you giving her compliments is showing her that you appreciate her and that um, you appreciate that she shows up for you in that manner, looking, you know, presentable and all those things. So it does come down to her, like, you know, having a big ego, but it's just she needs someone to stroke that ego. She needs those compliments to feel secure, to feel wanted, to feel loved in the relationship. That's how she receives that love. So it does come from that place of ego, but it also comes from a place of deep insecurity and deep feeling and need for love. So when we think about it more like that, giving her that love and showing her that love through the attention, through the compliments is what she needs and will um, make her feel very abundant in the relationship. So that's a good point comment on her hair okay comment on her hair she definitely has gorgeous luscious hair no matter who she is or what kind of hairstyle she has she rocks her hair and it's definitely like one of her um one of her like trademark things is how she does her hair so definitely compliment her on that so yeah, this woman is just like in love with being in love. So when it comes to romance, she's very romantic. She does like when a partner will want to do cute things with her, romantic things with her. If she mentions anything that she wants to do, um, definitely do that with her and make it very special and romantic and she'll very much so fancy that. By any means, if you're trying to get with a Leo woman, you cannot hurt her ego. Don't hurt her ego. Don't try to dim her light. This woman is very social. She's the life of the party. She likes to make jokes. If you're going to pick out her little insecurities that, you know, you might not even notice that they're her insecurities, but once you get to know her more, um, don't play with those parts of her because a Leo woman is very sensitive deep down. And if you crush her ego or make her feel like she's, doing too much or being too loud or whatever like that's just gonna be such a turn off for her she does not want a partner that's gonna dim her light in any way so this woman is very open-minded she is extremely open-minded um and she loves to have fun she holds this childlike playful energy with her throughout her entire life no matter what age she is even if she's 50 she's still gonna have that like childlike energy and aura to her so she loves to have fun she loves to not take life so serious to really enjoy those moments and really enjoy the little things and always have an optimistic out view or outlook on life and she definitely wants a partner that's going to going to feed into that and have that same outlook and still be grounded but have that playful fun energy not taking life so serious and just really being present in the moment that being said this woman is a work hard play hard type person type woman type energy she definitely believes that hard work pays off she definitely believes that perseverance and consistency pays off um, that's the really awesome part about her being a fixed sign is that she does get um, she does get very committed to certain a certain career or a certain artistic outlet or she's very passionate about what she does. So if she finds something she really loves, she's gonna pursue it all the way, not go half in. Um, so that's a really nice trait because with this woman you can definitely build a really nice union and relationship where you both can flourish separately, be comfortable and secure separately in your own career and your own um, friend group and all that and then come together in a union and um, flourish together, growing together. This woman is extremely loyal. Coming to that point she is the most loyal <laughs> to a fault. Um, pretty much out of the whole zodiac, I'd say. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, Scorpio is pretty loyal, but a Leo woman is like, the first thing I think of is loyalty. Like, she will ride or die for you um, till the end. So, 
um, if she sees that you are worthy of her love, because she is a queen, <laughs> if you're worthy of that love and that loyalty, you don't got to worry about Leo woman leaving or not being loyal because <laughs> she is extremely loyal. So definitely you can be in a strong relationship with this woman for a long time and I've seen it many times. Leos are usually in relationships and they usually end up having kids and a family um, pretty young, maybe in like the late 20s. They're very, very into family dynamics. So yeah. Another point I wanted to make when attracting this woman is she does not want a partner that she feels like she has to fix, that she feels like she has to um, constantly provide for with nothing in return. Like she does not want a partner that's just going to feed off of her energy, off of her, her finance, like her income or leech onto her for what she has she wants a partner that's extremely strong on their own so that being said she wants like a king queen dynamic she does not want like someone that's down here trying to like she wants someone that is on the same level as her um and this woman is very into luxury things like you can definitely find a leo woman or just the leo energy in general um, would go really well with like Taurus energy and just like the way that they're very into like more luxury things um, so whether that is like clothing or anything that provides some kind of like comfort but they're just into that like status of luxury things mostly so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope I didn't ramble on too much about the Leo woman but I really hope you got some insight on how you can attract yourself a gorgeous Leo woman. I hope you all are enjoying the summertime. I know I am. And yeah, uh, let me know what you think of this video. Leave any comments down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.